Okay, and for this video, it will be all about this outer drive. Yeah, for the drive shaft uh, on this uh, Max, I think a lot of people probably have this problem. Yep, uh, uh, even if your truck is mop or not, I'm for sure one day you will uh, either break um, the outer drive or that's what people have problem with too. <laughs> yep, the C hub. <laughs> so, but this video is not about the C hub. It's all about the the outer drive that I did find a replacement without buying a whole dry shaft because I have six of them with me right now like the, I have six outer drive <laughs> yep I still have six outer drive that is not used <laughs> so I don't want to keep going like this and have all this uh, outer drive at home looks like candles I can like, put it on a <laughs> birthday cake <laughs> one day <laughs> yeah one day I can put it in a birthday cake okay let's start it uh, let's talk about the second wee spot. That is the only two wee spot that I really, really have on this Max. I don't know about the other people, but I, I think a lot of people have this problem. Uh, wow, this is not the wow. Well, this outer drive, right? Uh, this is not the Max outer drive. I will tell you guys what is this. Wow, well, you can already see the number. But <laughs> so what happened is um this. Is the part that always like to uh, let me uh, focus this? Can you guys see it? You guys see the crack, right? Where the pin uh, and the metal, the metal uh, where the wheel go on, uh, uh, meet the pin, it break off that plastic part. Right, so so far I cannot find this top part replacement. How come I have this? This is not for Max. Uh, I I want to show this because I want to tell you guys that's a replacement, but you have to do some uh, tuning, uh, not tuning, but uh, uh, modify, modify, uh, modifying that um, uh, outer drive. Um, this is the number. This is from uh, the old Vivo, or I think it's for the T Max or E Max. This is the uh, yeah plas plastic outer drive for the uh, uh re old the first gen Vivo, and also the uh, T Max or E Max uh outer drive. This is uh, yeah that's. Their drive, <laughs> that's the we uh, uh, first gen Evo and T Max and E Max outer drive. Um, when you purchase this fire uh, fifty four fifty three, it come with a uh, two pin. Uh, that's a pin here, right? Sorry, the light is too bright. Uh, that's uh, only one pin, but uh, that's supposed to be two pin, and two plastic outer drive, not including the metal part. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's two. Uh, brewery. Yeah, uh, only come with the plastic part, right? No metal part. But remember, I told you, it break off right where the pin and the metal part is. As long you, as long as your metal part stick onto your wheel, you can still find it. And the pin, you you don't have to worry because uh, they come with two pin. Uh, yeah. The plastic uh, outer drive it come with two pin on this uh Traxxas um wow this we uh, old Vivo first gen Vivo uh, uh plastic uh, outer drive. So what happened is um when you get it it's only a, you only have that plastic part, but um from the max you have you 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 will still have this uh, metal piece. And probably you, if you're lucky, you still have the metal uh pin. But anyway, they got one in uh, uh, uh two in there in the bed in the bed. So you, what happened is um uh, first when I first got it, I put the um this uh uh school park like this park 
I put it in, and then I tried to push the pin in. It didn't work. But you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. Right, it didn't fit. The pin don't go in at the beginning. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, focus. See, you can see that metal part. Yeah, you can. You can see the pin, right? I hope you guys can see the pin. All right. Um, I drill. I drill this hole a little bit bigger. So that's why I say you have to do some work. Uh, before you uh, install this, um, it's a little bit cheaper if you do it this way. You don't have to drive the whole drive shaft. And like me, I already own six of the inter drive because uh, I well have no use sitting there, <laughs> sitting in my house doing nothing because I keep breaking the outer drive. Uh, yeah, my outer drive is all gone right here. Okay, <laughs> right, uh, that's two more, but uh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, um. So that's why I bought, uh, purchased this. I don't want to keep buying uh, the whole dry shaft, right? Uh, the uh, two piece, right? They come with two piece. Um, yeah, that's what happened. You have to uh, drill that hole bigger to install that uh, pin in there. Uh, what happened is, oh, focus. Oh, I hope it, this can focus. So you can see, almost reaching up. Oh, Almost reaching the uh oh man yeah sorry about this yeah you can see right uh you 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 have to drill it as high as possible as uh, far to the pointy like 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 um because the hole is uh quite low right so you have to drill it bigger so that the pin can go in. And for you to do that, you have to uh, drill it a little bit uh, towards the uh, the pointy side of this uh, outer drive, the plastic one, the plastic part. So um, the tools, uh, the number, oh, wow, well, let me turn off the light because you guys might not see it with, yep. Uh, my phone just don't want to focus, but I hope you guys can see it. Okay, um, yeah, <laughs> I will probably cut this part. <laughs> my phone <laughs> is not focusing. It's so hard to get it to focus on that uh, drill. <laughs> yeah, it's a one eight. Yeah, it's a one eight. <laughs> I think yeah, 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 it's a one eight. So you use a one eight. Try to drill that uh, hole. Oh, well, let me turn on the light again. Or go, you guys cannot see that hole. How big that is right now. Trying to drill as uh, towards the pointy side as as possible. And if one try it didn't work, then you will have to like go it back into the hole and drill and push push it like ah and you're trying to push it in and we drill it and trying to push it to the pointy side and keep keep going back and forth and put pressure to the pointy side i uh, in the hole yeah in the hole so that you can create a like a bigger hole through to the pointy side right until until you get it right and you can stuck the front of the pin in there it, it will not go in way right away right because of the force and then what happened is you get a needle pile right we don't have to be so big <laughs> it, it can be a small one and ah sorry it's so hard to do this with one hand so you open this wide like look the hole is on the side right here right oh sorry yeah the hole is right here and right here so and the pin if it, you're installing it is stuck right on this side because you're trying to force the front a little bit like to go like to to, to push that like a little like it is stuck it's stuck onto that part with a little bit right because you're using your hand to push it in and then it was a little bit then you use this uh, needle pile to clamp on one side and clamp on the the pin on the other side and squeeze it 
and squeeze it hard and then it will and go in and if it's not totally in keep doing that right and yeah and afterward it will be like this yeah it's not really like oops uh my phone is not focusing yeah uh, you can see the scratch mark it won't affect anything right because uh, uh, what happened is you're going to put a bearing on there anyway so the bearing is metal anyway so um it's not going to scratch the bearing or whatever uh whatever it will fit i tried to fit this before my old my old uh staring rod i mean uh staring hub sorry <laughs> yeah i trying to uh install that uh into my uh staring uh hub and it do fit uh well i cannot do this one hand again come on well it's so hard to do it with one hand if i can have the other hand i might be able to so you got i'll get it click you can hear the click right so you can see see it fit it, well it don't have the other bearing so but you can look at this look at the old bearing scratch mark right you can see those uh metal and you can see the paint the black black paint that's where the uh, bearing sit and look at where the pinhole is right so that will uh, save you a little bit money if your local area have this um, uh, 54, 53, like cheaper than um, if they uh, on your local area is cheaper than buying a, a one, well, the, well, the other piece, uh, the whole piece dry shaft, then yeah, try this out. Uh, yeah, then you will save a little bit money. And trucks us, trucks us again. Have to tell you guys this. I hope you saw my video, especially something like this. Come out with uh, outer drive for for your max. Come on, we need an outer drive, right? I don't mind to keep buying the outer drive and use your plastic one, but come on, man, you don't even have an outer drive. I I I've no use for those inter drive right now. Six of them. What am I gonna do with them? Burn them? <laughs> yep. Or use it as as a candle. <laughs> okay, everybody. Yep. This is the end of this video, and I hope this is helpful, right, for a lot of people, cause um, this is one of the weak spot on the max, uh, besides the uh, bow hack. I don't know, not a lot of people, uh, I didn't hear a lot of people that have the ball cap problem, but at least that is a uh, weak spot for me, because I keep picking it, right? So this too, right? For sure, a lot of people have this uh, weak spot. So, uh, yeah, at the end, I just want to uh, let you guys know what I have, if, uh, what kind of radio I will have for my future. Usually running radio, right, for me. And uh, But now I have to do some tuning. So I will have some tuning video for sure because uh, my max is dead. My ESC is uh, gone. So I did or I did call Chaxus, but um, they have no response to me yet. So I'm going to contact them second time at uh, at the support center, right? The support on internet, and I will see if they're going to answer or not. Even if they answer or not, I did order uh, Hobby Wing Max 8 6S ESC. Right? Yeah. Hey, if I'm going to buy it, why do I buy a 6S? Right? Um, I might not run a 4S, I mean, 6S into it. I might still run a 4S at the beginning, but of course. I will one day I will try the success right on this truckie but a uh, 4s is um for now is enough for me to jump with this max right so uh, but hobby wing uh, max 8 is coming
Yep. And also, uh, how come I say that's a lot of tuning video? That is one of them. And secondly, this. You guys can see it? Can you guys see it? Yep. Uh, this time I phone this so a little bit. GPM dry shaft. Yep. Uh, GPM uh, metal aluminum dry shaft. Um, this dry shaft extend both sides, right? So uh, it's a little bit different from the Chuck's Chuck's one. So uh, how come it's so interesting that I want to uh, put it like uh, uh, make a video out of this? Cause look at my mask. It's already have the white mask on there <laughs> right now. So will this will the GPM fit? on it right um even myself i'm curious because at the beginning when i ordered this i have no white marks yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i was thinking uh, uh when it was arriving i was thinking let's just try it and i'm going to make a video to like uh, installing it into there and let you guys see it afterward T totally whole video and see <laughs> we'll all see even myself <laughs> it will it will if it, it, it will fit right <laughs> and also this i don't know if i'm going to uh uh so this but this is very important too because uh, i didn't install this at the beginning and now the esc crap out on me uh, i still have this to install into my ra radio so uh my controller right so um we'll see if this will work with a max eight esc <laughs> yep let's see and the motor is coming after the uh, max eight right so i i will try i will try to see if will, uh, the max eight uh plug will uh, work right i mean the 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 motor the um the Chuck's uh, motor will work on that uh, Max X ESC. I uh, will see. Then I will keep that motor on there if it work right. And uh, if it's not, then I will put the motor in there too, right? And uh, yep, uh, a lot of good stuff. Uh, good stuff coming. So um, yeah, for this video, please, uh, if you like it, give me a like and share share this and also share this uh, so that they will know that i uh, uh there's a way that they don't have to spend a lot of money and they can find some alternative and also yeah if you share to them too right and let them say that hey this guy is going to mop his chuggy like this right uh at the future so subscribe too right subscribe so you can see my other video at the future right or um, yeah so that's it for this one uh bye now everybody yeah remember give me a like if you dislike really if you dislike let me know bye now